Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a Twin Flame reading for the sign of Aquarius. So in case you are not in the Twin Flame connection, this may not be a reading for you. Also please keep in mind, this is a general read. It will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements. Now let's see what are the energies for Aquarius within this connection. What are the energies for Aquarius within this connection? Let's see. Page of Wands. King of Swords, your own card, Aquarius. Let's get you one more. One more card for Aquarius, please. One more card for Aquarius. Nine of Wands. I feel Aquarius. Interesting, with the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Empress also, right? I feel like there is a coming together with your twin flame. There is a coming together at stake. But interesting that <clears throat> On one side, I see you being very curious about it. But on the other side, I see you being kind of emotionally detached. I see you be, being very logical about it. Um, or at least, you know, maybe even in general, being trying to be very logical in this situation. Trying to be very detached in this situation. And actually, I see your guard up. I see you a kind of guarded. Uh, I'm not sure why yet, but uh, let's keep going. Let us see what are the energies for Aquarius as Twin Flame, please. What are the energies for Aquarius as Twin Flame, please, with regards to this connection? Let's see. Ten of Cups. Five of Cups. Let's get you one more card. Why are you so guarded, Aquarius, I wonder? Knight of Cups. Hmm. Three of Coins. So, with the Three of Coins at the bottom of their, of their deck and with the Three of Cups at the bottom of yours, I feel like we're talking here, there is a, some interference here, Aquarius. Maybe that's, that's what makes you guarded. Because I do see your twin flame being deeply in love with you, seeing uh, their emotional fulfillment with you, seeing their happily ever after with you. However, in the same time with the five of cups here, I see them, I see some kind of sorrow here. I'm not sure what is it about, but I'm sure that you're picking up on this energy. I feel like one or the other, or even both of you, are involved in something else as well. It feels to me like. It feels to me like you, on your side, I see a lot of curiosity towards this connection. I see you're trying to understand what is it. But I also see you, um, you know, putting 
quite a high wall between yourself and this person or between yourself and this connection. And on their side, I see that they openly are in love with you. But in the same time, in the same time, uh, I'm not sure. Let me, you know what, let me try and clarify this Five of Cups here. I'm not sure what makes them feel so sad. Why, why, why are they sad? They're very sad. Even though successful completion. You know what I feel? I feel like this person, you may or may not be aware of this. Uh, some of you Aquariuses will be aware of the situation, some of, some of you will not. I feel like this person, your twin flame, is coming out of... Um, I wouldn't even say out of a relationship. I don't feel they are in one. But I feel like whatever happened to them in the past, whoever they were connected to in the past, they still did not complete the cycle fully. I feel like this person is probably still on their mind in one in some way, in one way or another. I'm not saying that they are like dreaming about this person to come back or they even want this person to come back. This is quite possible that they were badly wounded or hurt by that person. And if even if they still did not heal or they still did not forgive, it means that that person is still in their energy. And I think that you are picking up on that. I think that you are picking up on that. You are picking up that uh, there is some like kind of a third energy between you two. This could be quite possible uh, that you also, um, some of you maybe also are not healed fully from your previous relationships or even not out fully uh, of your previous relationships. But to be honest, I feel most of it on their side on your twin flame side. I feel like they are trying to close the cycle. I, I see that they are trying. It just did not happen yet completely. So sometimes maybe they are distant. Sometimes maybe they become sad out of nowhere, you know, and you are picking up on that. And uh, therefore, you're trying to, uh, to protect yourself. You're trying to be logical about it. You're trying to understand uh, what exactly is going on. Right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's see the energies for the connection itself. What energies are available within this connection, please? What energies are available within this connection? Hmm. Yes, with the th with the three of cups that I've seen before and the empress. On your side, I do, I do feel like you would like to come together with this person, and you do recognize uh, that they are, that they very well could be someone who will make you very happy, someone you can build with. But also, yes, I think that you are picking up on them, <clears throat> uh, on some kind of a third energy that they are still not completely out of. So it makes you guarded and reserved. Six of coins, two of cups, it's actually beautiful energies. But let's get one more card before I uh, say anything else. Let's get one more card. Six of wands. Lovely. Uh, look, Aquarius, what I would like to tell you that the energies available for this uh, for this connection are absolutely beautiful. With six of cups, uh, with six of sorry coins, um, everything is absolutely reciprocated within this connection. They love you. You love them, and they love you too. They do. They are not hiding anything. This person is not hiding anything from you. They feel deeply connected to you. With the two of cups here, and the um, a six of Wands crossing all of that, uh, I see that um, this connection is actually developing very well, that this connection is going places, that there is nothing for you to fear. Um, 
what you're picking up on is like the remains of unhealed past. It doesn't mean I don't I do not see your twin flame thinking about that person or or thinking to get back together with that person, you know, or even anything of that sort. I do not see them missing the past. I see them trying to close the cycle. I see them trying to heal from whatever happens. I also see them actually probably not telling you. Maybe you are just see them sad sometimes, maybe you just see them quiet sometimes and you don't really understand why are they sad and quiet. And this immediately puts you in your mind space and you are trying to understand with your logical mind. And uh, this is what your logical mind is telling you. They probably have somebody else. They probably don't love me all that much. They probably this, they probably that. The mind will tell you thousands of things. Right? And uh, uh, it will it will lead you to nothing but, yes, putting the walls between yourself and this person. While there is no need in their energy, I see only love. Love is the only thing is in this energy. And in the energy of this connection, I see you two coming together with the Two of Cups here. Right? So I would like to tell you to, you know, uh, to trust them maybe a little bit more. You, I, I, th I think you can trust them. You can. I don't see they have any kind of uh, bad intentions towards you at all, at all. Nothing but love. Well, let's get you an advice, Aquarius. Advice from spirit or whatever spirit would like to share with Aquarius, please. Let's see. Look at this. Lovers. Ace of Swords. Let's get one more card. In this deck, the lover's card is called Open Your Heart. And I think this is exactly the advice for you. But let's get you one, one more card. Seven of Thought. Yes, look at this. Um, yeah, I see where this is going, Aquarius. With the nine of uh, coins and five of coins and eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. You need to talk. You two need to talk. You need to talk before you will take your doubts any further. You need to talk, you need to express your feelings. I feel Aquarius that uh, at this time you are a little bit with nine of coins and, and five of coins here, you are trying to uh, to remain in your integrity. But however, with the five of coins under that, I see that um, you yourself may have uh, a little bit of abandonment issue, maybe something of that sort. A little bit of fear, you know, is lingering somewhere there, and it makes you feel like. Uh, it makes you think that this person might be uh, lying to you, maybe they are a cheat, maybe it's something of that sort, like some low vibration is here, but there is none of, the, none of this is here present. We do not see this in the energies. Not in the energy of this person, not in the energy of the connection. What I see here is a need to openly communicate how you feel. To have an open communication with this person, to talk openly about your doubts if you have some, right? And uh, maybe they will even tell you. Maybe they will tell you, you know what, I just, I'm just trying to, uh, to go through the remains of my own uh, past traumas, of my own past wounds. I don't feel like this person even wants to bring this to you. They are trying to process it all on their own. So there is nothing for you actually to fear at all. There's nothing for you to fear at all. Um, so just talk. Just talk to them. Okay? Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this helped in some way, and I hope to see you again. Bye, Aquarius.